In part three of this video series, I'm gonna show you how to create a vintage B-movie title that will make your friends think you're a Hollywood pro. Hi, my name is Cameron with Motion Science. This is the third video in a series of videos where I'm teaching you how to create an eye-catching, attention-grabbing sci-fi B-movie title with a little bit of creativity and some simple tips. So without further ado, let's get started on part three. So the first thing we're gonna do is start bringing some of this all together and making it kind of blend in together. So what we're gonna do is add a new adjustment layer. We are going to add a film effect. Now my favorite film effect is under Sapphire Stylize, it's called Film Damage. If you don't have Sapphire, you can click the link that's gonna appear at the top of this video that will take you to another tutorial I have on how to create a film effect if you don't have third-party plugins like I have here. I'm gonna go ahead and load up a preset for Sapphire Film Damage. And I really like this German preset that we have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click load on that. I really like how it crushes the blacks in this and it just looks really, really nice. Next, let's go ahead and add some wiggleness to this. So with that adjustment, adjustment layer selected, let's go up to effect, distort, transform. We're gonna alter option, click on position and type in wiggle, parentheses, 12 times per second at a amplitude of three. I want this image to hop around, like it has a loose film sprocket. And that's looking really nice as well. Let's go ahead and rename this effects. And the next effect we're gonna add is under effect, time, posterize time, this is going to slow everything down and kind of give it just that vintage frame rate that we're looking for. So we're gonna type in 18 and we'll go ahead and preview this. Yeah, so now everything kind of has that more steppy look to it, which is awesome, absolutely love it. Next thing we're gonna do is add another new adjustment layer. Layer, new adjustment layer. And we're gonna call this Blur. And to this, we're going to apply Blur and Sharpen Camera Lens Blur. And with that Blur Radius selected, we're gonna alter option click and we're gonna add in a wiggle expression here, wiggle parentheses 24 times per second at a amplitude of 20. We're going to make it just blur out pretty badly here. So we don't want this to happen all the time. So we're gonna bring our adjustment layer to start here and we're gonna have it end right here. So it's playing through and all of a sudden it just kind of loses its focus and it gets really blurry for a split second or two and then it's gone. So we play this back. You can see there, it's just for a little bit, it just adds a little detail here to getting a out of focus camera. Next, let's add another new adjustment layer and we're gonna call this transition. And we're gonna go to effect, transition, and we're gonna go to gradient wipe, which we find right here. And we are going to go to the beginning of our timeline here, set a transition completeness to 100%, so it's all black. Set our smoothness to about 50%, go about 12 frames in, and set our completion to zero. And this is just gonna be a really nice transition in, as you can see there, versus just doing a simple fade to black. What this gradient wipe does is it brings in the lighter values first and then the darker values. So we'll stop the transition here, so we'll option bracket to end our layer there. And everything's just looking really nice at this point, as you can see here. Let's add a little bit of specs here. So let's go to layer new solid, and we'll call this dust one, and we'll go ahead and solo this layer here. And to this, we're gonna apply effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. We're going to change the contrast to 1000, the brightness to negative 400. And we're gonna go down here into evolution options, random seed, U, and bring this back to the beginning here. And then go to the end of our timeline here, and we'll put in a value here of 65. And we've got some really nice white dust on black. So now if we unsolo this dust and we bring it down below our effects and we set this to a screen mode, you're gonna see we've got some dust here. It's very subtle, but you can see it there on the screen. It's looking really nice. I also wanna adjust a few of the nebulas here. So let's find out which one is over here on the right side, nebula two. Go ahead and bring it down a little bit. Maybe something like that. I wanted to create some more black space up in here. And then nebula one. I'm gonna create a little bit more contrast here in our image. And the nebula three is right here in the middle, which I think is working okay. So the last thing I wanna do here is give this scene a little bit more depth just don't like how we can see all these asteroids way back in space here. So I'm gonna open up the camera 
and I'm gonna go to depth of field, I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm really liking that a lot. Let's go ahead and change our focus distance here so we can bring our focus closer to the camera, which you can see now this asteroid's a little bit more in focus. And it's always a good idea with this to go ahead and go to full res at this point. So we see everything exactly how it's gonna look when we render it out. Getting even better, but this asteroid that's out of focus here is really bugging me. It should be in front of our ship versus behind our ship. So what I wanna do here is go to my particle system and it's all about these little details at the very end and just trying to get things to look just right. So I'm gonna change my random seed here to maybe like one and see if I can get rid of that particle. I also noticed that the, the text here is really, really white. If you look at the rest of the image here, nothing is as white as this text is. I'm just gonna go really quickly into tent here and just bring down that value of that white a little bit. Actually, that's too much. So we'll bring it back up a little bit, maybe somewhere in between. Maybe just a little bit more. You could also do this by just adjusting the color of the text. And then to the effects, I'm gonna apply Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. I'm just gonna blur out the edges just slightly. So maybe two, maybe three, just to give them a little bit of softness. That's be that's after the blur, this is before. So it's very, very subtle. I'm also wondering about not taking this transition all the way to zero, but instead leaving it at maybe like 50%, maybe 25% and just extending it the entire image without and with it just kind of crushes the blacks a little bit more which i really like and there we go there is the finished sci-fi b movie title i hope that you really enjoyed this lesson please let me know if you have any questions in the comments i'd love to answer them for you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to this channel it helps the algorithm for other people to find this channel as well if you're looking to upgrade your design skill set master the art of style and execute like a pro i have a course called stylecraft that you can check out at motionscience.tv you can also learn more about this course by clicking the link in the description as always Thanks for watching. My name is Cameron and this is Motion Science.